Hi everyone, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics. And if you wanna know how to correctly do the right something 11 times and place it under the pillow, you landed on the right video. Today, I'm not only gonna show you this technique, but I'm gonna actually give you some bonuses that you can do it because it's very important that you start doing it right now. Now, I'm gonna get into this, but I'm gonna tell you right now, this is a video you really want to watch. Now, if you're new to my world of metaphysics, this is a metaphysical law of attraction channel that focuses on manifesting techniques. It doesn't matter if we're talking about candle work, affirmation scripting, blowing cinnamon in the house. Everything is right here on one channel. So now, if you want to know about the write something 11 times and place it under the pillow, just keep watching. I'm back everyone. Like, wow, why am I saying write something 11 times? 11 is a powerful number, you guys. It is a master number. It is a manifestation number, everyone, connected with spirituality. Remember, everything comes from God, the God that dwells inside of you. And the best way of reaching this God or reaching your desires to be manifest is connecting with your subconscious mind. And how do we connect with the subconscious mind? By repeating something over and over again. And then when we mix the number 11 with it, whoa, booyah, that is a manifestation number. Now, why is it so important that we start doing this now or within the next couple of days? And that is because we are in November in the 1111 portal month. Okay, everyone? So this is a great time to do this technique. Now, listen, we're playing with the number 11. You can use this at any time during the year, okay? But for November um, 1111, wow, it's even more important. We can start now and do this for 11 days going into the 1111 portal and after, or we can wait until the 1111 portal and carry it out for 11 days from there. It is totally up to you. Now, what is it that I'm telling you that you're going to need? You're going to need a piece of paper, you guys. Now, listen, any piece of paper will do, okay? Only thing you need is a small piece of paper, enough room to write something on it 11 times, okay, you guys? Now, a lot of times I use parchment paper, you guys. And if you want parchment paper, you can go to your local um, metaphysical store. You can go on my online to my site, but you might not get it in time. You can go on Amazon, wherever you, wherever you can go to get it right away. But other than that, just using plain paper is good enough. Now, hey, I might as well give you one of my bonuses. You can even write it out 11 times on a bay leaf. Ha ha. Get a whole dry bay leaf and take 11 of them out and write it 11 times. Ha ha. So we can use a bay leaf. Now, what is it you actually going to write? You're going to write your name, okay? Because we want this to be personal. Your name, your full name, okay? If you want to, you can write your full name and your date of birth, okay? Follow it by exactly what it is that you desire, okay? Now, we can do this a couple of ways, and I'm going to explain that a little later. But for right now, writing it 11 times what you desire. So here I have my name, and then I have um, successful business, okay? So you're going to write your name. You can write your name and your date of birth, and then you can write successful business. Now, listen, you guys could be a little specific, but because you're doing it 11 times on a piece of paper, I want you guys to keep it short, but very clear about what it is that you desire. So let's just say you're, you de you're desiring um, true love, okay? You can write your name, um, Billy Bob, um, such and such birthday, I found, thank you, I found my perfect love, love of my life, okay? You, whatever it is you want to write. And then you're going to write it 11 times, you guys, okay? What's important is setting your intent in the paper. Do not let this be something you just come up with out of the blue. Really know what it is that's important to you, okay? And why, because the why is going to get you there. While you're writing this, okay, I want you to visualize yourself having this. So let's just say it's the love of your life. See yourself with someone holding their hand, them holding your hand. Maybe if you're a female, the ring being placed on your finger, 
whatever it is that you desire. If you want something to come very quickly and it's a, a certain amount of money or, or it's a promotion at your job, imagine yourself being congratulated at your job. Okay, you guys, because you're infusing this paper with your intention, what are you going to do with it afterwards? Now, there's a few things you're going to, you can do. One, you can take this paper outside. Ha ha, because we are basically in a waxing moon right now. But again, you can do this at any time. And we're entering the 1111 portal. You can go outside and read what you wrote because you wrote it 11 times. So you're actually stating what you want, what you desire 11 times because you're reading the paper. You wrote it 11 times. You're outside now under the moon. Okay. It doesn't matter if you see the moon or not. You might not, but you should. Okay. And you're going to read the paper stating what it, whatever it is that you desire 11 times. Now, after you finish, you're going to be grateful to the universe, to God, for blessing you with whatever it is that you desire. You're going to be also grateful for everything that you already have. Now, after that, I want you to take the paper, fold the paper towards you because you want something coming towards you. OK, so fold it, turn it, fold it, turn it towards you. And you're going to take this paper. Now, there's a couple of things you can do with it. You can place it in your manifestation journal. You can place it in, because this is success, we're going to place it in an on sachet bag if you have it. If not, you could place it in a sock. And what are you going to do? You're going to place it under your pillow. Now, for me, what I would be doing, I would have this in my sachet bag. I might have a bay leaf in here. Um, a, a carnelian crystal, if I have one, a clear crystal quartz, okay? And I would place it in the pillowcase underneath my pillow. And what it is, again, I would thank God for blessing me with it. And I would go to sleep with this being the last thing on my mind. Now, what are you going to do the next day? You can either carry it around with you, or you can basically take it out that next night, okay? Go back outside. And you're going to read it again. And okay, you're going to do this for 11 days. Okay, being grateful, you guys, for whatever it is that you wrote on the paper. Now, listen, it's very important to have your emotions up, you guys, because this is part of manifestation. You can't go outside and be, oh, I can't believe I can't pay my bills. And God, oh, my name is Billy Bob, and I just manifested $50,000. <laughs> It's not going to work. Okay. We need to keep the energy up, whether you're playing music to get that energy up, whatever it is you need to do. But I need you to be happy, expecting the best. Now, after 11 days, what can you do with this? You can either burn it. Okay. In a flame. Okay. Represented by the color of whatever it is you're doing, or just a white candle. You can burn it in a flame, or you can. Take it and bury it in the ground, kick up some dirt, put it in the ground, put it there, or you can burn it, collect the ashes, blow it out to the universe, or plant it in the ground, or you can actually take it and carry it around with you until you want to get rid of it. Um, if you're using bay leaves, you're going to use one bay leaf for each time you're writing, okay? You're going to write your name, what you desire your name, what you desire. You're going to collect all 11 bay leaves, place them in, a, in the bag, okay? Might need a bigger bag for this, okay? And you're going again. You can put it under your pillow. You're hoping not to crush it at this point because you're going to keep pulling it out every night for 11 days reading it. And at the end of the 11 days, you're going to burn it or kick up some dirt and bury it. It's up to you what you want to do. Why am I giving you this video now? It's because of the 1111 portal. We're writing it 11 times, um, reading it for 11 days. Now, another way you can actually do this, and I just explained this in my 1111 portal a manifestation ritual live stream. You can write out everything that you desire, okay? Write everything. Write your name. Again, you're going to write your name on the paper. And then you're going to write bullets, everything that you desire in the order of importance. Okay. Man, I thank you, God. I manifested $50,000 um, for the best of all involved.
Thank you, God, I manifest my new home. Thank you, God, I manifest my new car. Thank you, God, I manifest my new career. You're going to write everything down in order of importance. Of importance. Then you're going to go outside under the moon if you're able to see it. during. Again, we're entering the 1111 portal, you guys. And you're going to start reading down your list. Thank, thanking God for blessing you with whatever it is that you wanted, that you desired. Okay? It is just that simple. Once you read it the 11 times, again, you're going to come back. You're going to fold it up towards you. Okay? If you want to, you can fold it up towards you. You can place it under your pillow, put it in your journal, whatever it is you want to do. And every day, go back outside and read it again. Now, some of you are probably asking, do I write it over and over and over again? This is a no. You're going to spend all your time, maybe in front of a candle, writing out your desires with your name on it. And you're going to go outside and you're going to read it outside under the moon. If you can't see the moon, don't worry about it. It's still there. Okay. You're going to read it 11 times or you're going to write it 11 times, go outside and read it. Okay, you're going to read the paper once, which you wrote it 11 times. So you're actually stating it 11 times because you wrote it 11 times and then let it go. You release, you let go, and you trust. And you end your night off with, thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Buddha. Remember, you guys, there's only one God, you guys, of many names. So there's so many things you guys can do. Be creative, okay, you guys? You might even want, if you have some oils in your house, you might even want to put a dab of oil on your hand and pat, pat it on whatever it is you wrote on. If it's for money, maybe abundance oil, wealth oil, um, fast money oil. If it's love, you might you want to use a love oil or a Archangel Raphael oil. Listen, be creative. This is your ritual. I'm just giving you the technique and the tools so you have to sit there and make it your own. Now, listen, everyone. This is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics, and I just told you basically two different techniques on how to write your desires out 11 times and place it under the pillow. So if you like this video, don't forget to support the channel by liking, subscribing, tapping the bell. But listen, if you want to watch any more manifesting videos, click, click, check out the videos above and namaste.